A very good afternoon to you tuned in to UBC TV and welcome to our lunchtime news this uh, Thursday, the 9th of January 2020. My name is Michael Jordan Lukomwa. Now, today is the very last day of uh, the Africa Kwetu Trek, where His Excellency the President is leading a group of Ugandans who are walking uh, in remembrance and honor of uh, the historicals and heroes that fought to liberate this country from 1980s to 86. Our reporter Ivan Kahwa is in Birembo, and where, they, where His Excellency the President is arriving in the next few minutes, we want to talk to him and get to have a feel of what exactly is that side. Yes, Ivan. Well, we've just reached uh, Virembo in the Kakumiro district, and this has been a trek of about 14 kilometers right from Kasambia sub-county still in Kakumiro, where we started this journey from 9.30 a.m. We have just reached here, and of course, the people who are joyfully dancing are waiting for the head of state to come and talk to them. We haven't yet reached a specific spot where we're going to have rest and where we're more likely to sleep, but the president will camp in Birembo. Well, it's, a, it's, a, it's just about a half a kilometer to reach the specific spot where the president will be resting, including all the trekkers. It has been a long journey, but this marks the end of this trek that started in Garamba, a place where the NRA started their fight to liberate this country. This, so far, we have moved for about 67 kilometers, and of course when you include the 14, we are in about 89 or 88 kilometers. In this specific trek, there are other spots where we used motor vehicles, just like in the beginning, when we had started the journey, the one of the officers mentioned that we shall need to use motors in some places. It hasn't been an easy trek, but thank God to the end we have also made it. And of course, we have been giving you the updates as regarding to what has been transpiring in this trek. And we expect that later on the head of state may speak to the media as regards to how the trek has been. There has not been any case reported, uh, unhealth issue or complication. However, there is one person who was repatriated back to Kampala after the officers confirmed that he had a problem with his mind. Well, that is an update for now, but of course the head of state, within a few minutes, he will be arriving in this specific place and we continue to Birembo where we are going to camp. And of course this will mark the last day of this entire exercise. To remind you, this trek was yard at reminding the Bazukuru or the grandchildren of those who fought to liberate this country to show them the footsteps and how they endeavored and how they managed to bring this country to where it is. And for my part and all the journalists who have been moving, this has been such an experience that has given us a touch to understand how to understand the feel of this uh, entire move by the NRA soldiers. With me, at least I had about 10 kilograms on my body while I was moving, but I tried to meditate and think. When that soldier in the 1980s was having about, 80, uh, about 25 kilograms on them and moving, we were told that most of them had to, had to drop their luggage because it was really heavy. But for us, it's also an experience. Though I did not drop any, I managed to maneuver through. And of course, I was putting on shoes, but I reached a point that I really had to remove the shoes. And these, these are all things that really happen when somebody is trekking. Well, the head of state, I would say that at least now there is a sign that he's reaching soon and, uh, and we will be uh, 
showing you the pictures of what exactly is happening. Mind you, the president has been moving, and uh, I should tell you that he's indeed a strong man because most of us were tiring along the way, but the president has managed to maneuver. I see a journalist here holding uh, the hands of uh, the government the government chief whip Esther Mbayo and Minister for Presidency, I beg your pardon. Well, the head of state is arriving soon in just about a minute. These are journalists trekking, they have trekked all along from uh, Garamba and this is the last bit I would say everyone is proud and rejoicing that they have made it. The president is here right president is arriving and of course security has been so tight it's not the usual thing as we always believe well the, the president moving with his stick trying to finalize this entire journey well the people are happy the people are rejoicing the people are Well, right there. So for now, let's see what is happening. The president has just arrived to talk to the Ugandans here.
Yes, we thank you so much for watching. That is His Excellency President Yuri Kaguta Museveni uh, still meeting uh, some of the people at a stopover on his way from Kasambia to Bidembo where he is about to reach in just a few minutes from now. That is according to our reporter Ivan Kahua, as you saw him on your screen just a minute ago. For all along, right from Galamba to Bidembo where they are arriving in a few minutes, His Excellency has been meeting a number of people that waited for him on the way to at least meet the president and also say hi, say hello and things like that. So he has met the people in that town in a stopover as he continues to remember. When they arrive, still we'll get back to you and give you a live feed of that. Even tomorrow, we'll be there live because we have a team on ground. Now, back here uh, in the more news, the, the Democratic Party is to launch a no-violence campaign to preach peace ahead of the 2021 general elections. The party president, Norbert Mao, says that analysts have predicted violence during the election period, and it's upon the political parties to sensitize Ugandans not to dare engage in violence. As DP, we are going to launch a no-violence campaign. All of us can be violent. There is no creature in the world that God did not equip with means of self-defense. Others have horns to pierce their enemies. 
others have sharp claws, others have teeth, others have poison, others God gave them speed to take off and flee from their enemies. So none of us is helpless. We will all perish if everybody becomes violent. So we are going to launch a no violence campaign as the Democratic Party. We will give you the details. Already analysts are fearing that 2021 is going to be the most violent election season ever. I think DP has the moral authority to preach non-violence because we have proved that we are non-violent. No, but Mao, DP president there. Now, on the international scene, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin have called for a ceasefire to end the conflict in Libya. The two leaders are seen to back rival sides in a conflict dragging in an increasingly, in increasing number of states. After talks in Istanbul, Erdogan and Putin said that the ceasefire should come into force at midnight on Sunday. The call came amid warning by German Foreign Minister Heiko Maas of a Syrian-style civil war in Libya. Last week, Turkey sent troops to the North African state to bolster the embattled UN-backed government. Turkey accuses Russia of having about 2,500 mercenaries in Libya to support the UN-backed administration's main rival, General Khalif Haftar. Russia denies the allegation. Libya is strategically important, having the largest oil reserves in Africa. Today is a great day to make someone's day. A wonderful day to rewrite the future. Today is a beautiful day to light up their world. Or maybe even the perfect day to say, you're my world. A marvelous day to make a brand new start. The perfect day to make the world smaller. Uganda, today isn't just another day. Today is your day. Airtel Money with you always. Airtel Money. Instant, secure, borderless. Airtel, the smartphone network.
Cinet Uganda is responsible for distributing the Dicto signal to Ugandans. We are currently activating all of country sites to boost our coverage. Jinja, Mbara, Masaka, Huima, Soroti and Bale, and now on. Our viewers in those areas are advised to use your free-to-air decoders to pick a signal. Sinit Uganda, your sole signal distributor countrywide. Yes, we thank you so much for watching GBC TV and in special way, our uh, lunchtime news. We still continue and now we'll go straight to a brief interview about the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community Convention, which we're going to know when it's taking place, why, where and how. Join me, welcome Sheikh Adam Sembaje. He's the General Secretary of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community. Yeah. Yes. You're most welcome, Sheikh. Okay, Good you. afternoon. Welcome. Yes. Tell us about the Ahmadiyya Muslim community briefly in a minute. The Who are you and how different are you? Are you any different from other Muslims? Oh, yeah. The Ahmadiyya Muslim community is uh, one of the Muslim factions mm -hmm. or groups in Uganda. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was founded in 1889 by Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, who is the founder of the community in India. That's about more than 100 years ago. And uh, then he started this community in a, by a divine command of Allah the Almighty who chose him as the reformer of the age mm. who had been prophesied to reform the world. And uh, basically our beliefs are Islamic. We follow the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu We follow the Hadith of the Holy Prophet. We follow the Holy Quran and we abide by the peaceful teachings of Islam. Okay. Yeah. But then how are you different? Where, where do you go different the, from the other factions as you call them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The basic difference that, uh, is, that, that there is, uh, is that uh, we do believe in that reformer who was prophesied by the Holy Prophet. All Muslims believe that that reformer, that Imam, mm -hmm. that Mahdi, or Jesus for that matter, who was prophesied to come in the later days, who believe that all those prophecies were to be embodied in one person who was the grand reformer to fulfill all of those different prophecies given by all different scriptures okay. in the Holy Bible is known as Jesus and the Holy Prophet prophesies him as the Imam Mahdi or the grand reformer. So he came, we believe, and all others are waiting. Our Christian brothers are still waiting for Jesus. The, Christ, the Muslim brothers are still waiting for the Imam Mahdi or that uh, spiritual guide. And uh, we believe that he has already come to so, prophesize and uh, to fulfill all of those prophecies in as one Christians person. wait for Jesus mm -hmm. you the Ahmadiyya Muslim community you wait for him we wait for, we waited you, you, you and we have believed already. that he has already made a second coming where is that best uh, uh, briefly speaking, that is in 1989 a gentleman known by Hazrat Mir the names of Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad appeared in India and uh, he openly told the whole world that the God the, one. the whole world that God the Almighty had chosen him to fulfill that prophecy. The Jesus who was to appear before that noble prophet of God, mm. his second coming was to be fulfilled in the person of Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, just like John the Baptist fulfilled the second coming of Elijah in the Bible. Okay. Mm -hmm. So according to the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, mm -hmm. Jesus is not coming back, but another person, another person is coming to back fulfill what was bringing to fulfill him. what was supposed to be done by Jesus, just like John the Baptist but came to fulfill Elijah's the second coming of Elijah. Mm. And the purpose for all of this, why different prophecies and one person is coming, the reason is simple, mm. to unite mankind. Okay. All faiths, all prophecies, all scriptures are going to be brought together. Because previously, prophets were coming at one specific uh, group of people, say prophet to the Jews. Now, Sheikh, yeah. are Christians waiting in vain? The, the gentleman is already on, in, on earth. I respectfully say yes. Please, Christians, Jesus retired long time ago. That is according uh, to Sheikh Semba But here. we do respect the views of others mm. and the beliefs of others. It is up to them to wait. Yes, just like the Jews <laughs> are still waiting for the first coming of Jesus. 
And just like the Jews are still waiting for Elijah, mm. and when Jesus appeared, they asked him, where is Elijah? He told him, it is John the Baptist. Accept it or not, he's the one. They chose to still wait, and they are still waiting for the last 2,000 years. Okay. How are you faring in Uganda as the uh, Ahmadiyya Muslim so community? So, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community mm. came to Uganda in 1935. Ever since, it's a registered uh, uh, faction of Islam in Uganda, and we are operating here. We have mosques, schools, hospitals, mm. and everything. And we're spreading, basically, the uh, pristine message of Islam as it was taught by the Holy Prophet Muhammad. Okay. Peace and blessings of Allah. So you Allah. annually hold this convention? So we annually hold what conventions. What is it about? What does it do? We, un we annually hold these conventions in every country where the Ahmadiyya Muslim community w is. What does it entail? It is a spiritual event. Mm. It's not political. It's not economical. It's not cultural. It's spiritual in nature. And the purpose of it is to bring together all those peace-loving people, not only Ahmadi Muslims, okay. other Muslim denominations. We invite them. Our Christian brothers, we invite them. Mm. Pastors, bishops, name them. All of them, we invite them. Now, to th come. Th that is where actually I would ask again. Exactly. With all, with, with, with the difference mm -hmm. in the belief. Mm -hmm. We believe coming together. Yes, we believe Each that. Each of you believing a different way. Christians, the other uh, factions of Islam, mm -hmm. you, the Ahmadiyya, mm -hmm. and all other denominations mm -hmm. coming together. Mm -hmm. What does the discussion entail in the convention? The discussion entails in unity. We can come together, though, in diversity. We are all human beings, mm. and we all believe in one God. And I believe that the God who revealed to Moses, to Abraham, to Jesus, to Muhammad, is the same God. And we all have the same problems, and we all yearn for peace. So we invite our brothers in from the different uh, groups of Islam, mm. from Muslims, from Christians, from pagans and all. Let's all come together and celebrate peace. We can come together. We have a lot in common. For if how long we, have you held this convention in Uganda? In Uganda we have held this convention for the, this is the 30, uh, 32nd. Okay, the yeah. 32nd time. Yeah. Of the convention. Of the convention, which we commonly call the Jalsa Salana. Mm. Jalsa Salana means the annual convention, oh. where Ahmadi Muslims come together. We invite all our brothers also. They come and uh, we hear speeches. We pray together. We Have you ever taken an assessment as a community mm. of this convention for all the times you have held it? Oh, yeah. Quite a lot. Because when we come together, we rejuvenate our faith. Mm. We learn a lot, especially about the Holy Quran, about the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu about our being uh, good citizens of the country, mm. being peaceful. And this is the basic message that we pass over in all the conventions that we are having. Okay. To come together, to unite together. Mm. We have four minutes to get out of here. Yeah. You have one this year. Yeah. Where is it going to be? First of all, who is it? You said all of us are invited. Oh, everybody is invited. Uh, uh, Every peace-loving person. Mm. Whichever, it doesn't there matter. There is nothing what like faith Catholic will be represented by so-and-so or the, 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 the Samize will be represented by so-and-so. No, no, we have invited. Whoever wants. We have invited. Whoever has the time. We have invited dignitaries from all groups, from all religions. Okay, so from all, all denominations will be represented by figures. By figures. We have okay. invited bishops, mm. we have invited pastors, mm. we have invited sheikhs, we have invited Reverend. local leaders, we have invited the cultural leaders, mm. we have invited anybody who believes in peace. Okay. Let us come and celebrate peace together. Let us come and... Uh, go back to our God. We pray together. Have these people attended always? Always they have been attending. Okay. Bishops have been attending. So what, Political is leaders this, have been attending. what is so special with this year's edition? This year, mm. what's so special is that we are receiving guests even from outside Uganda. We are receiving a delegation from Ghana. We are receiving a delegation from the UK. Mm. We are receiving a delegation from Tanzania. In fact, they arrived this morning okay. and others are to arrive tomorrow. A delegation from Tanzania comprising of about 50 delegates are already here. Mm. A delegation from Kenya is also coming. A delegation from Rwanda is also coming. So it's a spirit of Pan-Africanism where we come together to celebrate the true and perfect teachings of Islam. When is the convention and where? The convention mm. uh, the, of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, which is the Jasa Salana, is taking place at Seta Mukono. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's starting tomorrow. That is the 10th of January. Mm -hmm. And it's continuing for three days, which means it's starting tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And the climax of which will be the attendance of his, the right honorable prime minister is okay, coming to represent the president. Okay. Exactly. We wish you all the best. And uh, we look forward to seeing uh, the fruits of the convention, just as you said, yeah. that people have already appreciated. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much, Sheikh Semba. Okay, thank Wish you. Wish you all the best.
Yes, that will come to the end of what we had for you this afternoon. My name is Michael Jordan Lukumwa. On behalf of the whole team here, enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Bye-bye.